of spring cleaning, usually you think of cleaning your home. But we have a guest here today to explain why you need to spring clean your diet. Mm. Definitely need to do that myself. <laughs> Joining us is Alice Smith, a registered dietitian. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So tell us what exactly does it mean to spring clean our diet? Thank you for having me. Yes, as you're cleaning everything else in your house, think about your diet. Really analyze your pantry and your fridge and see what foods have more than five ingredients, what ingredients you can't pronounce, and see what foods you're eating on a regular basis that you can make just a healthier swap. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Things you can't pronounce, which yeah. <laughs> that's a lot, right? Yes. There is. When you flip it around. So what are some examples of like healthy food swaps that we could keep in mind? Yes, for sure. So instead of doing your instant oatmeal, swapping over to just old fashioned oats. Only one ingredient in there is oats and you can flavor that with anything you would like. A little bit of honey, maple mm. syrup, banana, nuts. Great swap. Yeah. Mm. And now you have a couple examples for us there yes. that you can um, swap healthy food with. Tell me more about those ingredients. Yes, and you can actually turn your oats into oat flour, which I know it sounds oh. crazy. You literally just put them in the blender or the food processor oh. and it turns into a flour. And I actually made healthy chocolate chip cookies. You can even have these you can have these for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> cookies for yes. breakfast. Cookies for they breakfast. Are, <laughs> I like you. And I like this plan. <laughs> wow. It's just oat flour, oats. It has pumpkin, bananas, a little bit of maple syrup, which is also a great swap. So going from your normal sweeteners to a more natural sweetener like honey or pure yeah. maple syrup to put in your oatmeal or in your baked goods is a great swap. That's a great idea. I mean, especially here in where we are in Virginia, you can get a lot of local maple uh -huh. syrup and, and local honey as yes. well. So what are some of the other things Perfect. that you have there that you can swap as well? I see, um, is that a salad? So this is actually vegetables and hummus. Okay. So doing raw vegetables and hummus is going to be much better than your processed veggie chips or even your chips and dip. So having hummus in the fridge at all times, I actually made this. It's super easy to okay. make. It, sound, it sounds intimidating, but it's not. Always have that on hand so you can add veggies to lunch, dinner, or this is a great snack. And what's the first thing that we need to do to transition to this healthy eating lifestyle for those that are watching from home? Start slow. Don't get overwhelmed. I don't want you to throw <laughs> everything out of your fridge and out of your pantry and then go buy a bunch of produce and let it go bad because you're going to be discouraged and you're going to be broke. So start small with just small transitions, just like moving to a pure maple syrup or even a darker percentage chocolate. That's a great swap. Here I have 72% yeah. dark chocolate. I put those in the cookies. You can't tell that it's not milk chocolate and that would be a great a great place to start. Oh, Any dietitian who's like, eat more chocolate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. You need I'm to come serious. on the show anytime. Man. Every day. Dark chocolate's a great source of magnesium. It's great. Add dark mm -hmm. chocolate to your diet, but you want to make sure the higher percentage, the healthier, so make sure the percentage is written on the outside of the package, and 72% is great. Okay. Wow. All right, Alice, thank you so much. And for more information, you can check out facebook.com slash Alice Approved. Yes.